Using keyboard shortcuts in Excel is the best way to improve your efficiency and productivity. Keyboard shortcuts are just a series of keyboard strokes that will execute commands, meaning that we don't have to use our mouse and click around on the ribbons. And a lot of people find that simply working with their keyboard is a lot quicker than constantly reaching for the mouse or switching between the two. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll probably use a combination of both. I use my mouse for a lot of things, but I also have a set of keyboard shortcuts that I commonly use. So I would highly recommend learning some basic keyboard shortcuts that will execute common commands quickly. So in this lesson, I'll demonstrate a few of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, but I'll also show you a couple of places you can go to print out a full list of all keyboard shortcuts available in Excel. You can then print this out, have it on your desk, and over time, you'll commit some of the most popular to muscle memory. Now, keyboard shortcuts generally involve holding down the control or the shift key, or in some cases both, and pressing a number or a letter. For example, if I wanted to select all of the data within this table, I can click inside the table and press control A, and it's going to select everything. If I want to select just this column of data, I can press control shift down arrow. If I want to select the entire row of data, control shift right arrow. And of course, the opposites of these work as well. So if I'm clicked at the bottom, I can do control shift up arrow to select all of the data. If I'm clicked on the right in the last cell, control shift left arrow to select the entire row. Now, if we're not clicked within data, maybe we're just down here in a blank cell, I can press shift spacebar to select the entire row or control spacebar to select the entire column. And then, of course, we have some of the most popular keyboard shortcuts for things like copying and pasting. So if I want to copy, let's say I want to copy this section of this table, I can press Control C to copy. Notice as soon as I do that, I get these little marching ants. That's what we call them in the Excel world around the outside of my selection. And I can then scroll somewhere else and press Control V to paste that data in. If I want to undo my last action, Control Z will do that. And if we have a selection still flashing like we do here, we can press the escape key to deselect that selection area. We have formatting shortcuts, so I can select some text. I'm going to select this row. Control B will make it bold. Control I will make it italic and Control U will underline. And we can simply press all three of those keyboard shortcuts again to remove them. So Control U will remove the underline, Control I will remove the italics and Control B will remove the bold. Now, there are so many other shortcuts other than those simple ones that I've just shown you just there. So let's take a look at a few ways that we can find out more about our keyboard shortcuts. If we jump up to the home ribbon, and if I hover my mouse over bold, for example, notice that it's showing the keyboard shortcut in brackets in the screen tip. So you'll find that for some of these commands, you can find out what the keyboard shortcut is simply by looking at that screen tip. Now, this doesn't apply to everything. If I hover my mouse over middle align, you can see it's not showing the keyboard shortcut. So this is a little bit hit and miss, but for a lot of things, you will be able to see the shortcut in the screen tip. Now, another really popular way of using keyboard shortcuts, and this has really come more into prominence over the last couple of years, is to use alt key tips. So what are those? Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Well, if we press the Alt key on our keyboard, check out what happens to our ribbon. I now get a letter or a number assigned to all of my tabs. Now to come out of this mode, we can press escape and it's going to get rid of those letters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this row, control shift, right arrow. I'm going to press alt and I want to make this row bold. So I can go to the home tab by pressing H, 
notice I then get a different set of shortcuts for each of the commands. And I can see that the number one is assigned to bold. So I can then press one and it's going to apply that formatting. So by pressing Alt H1 keyboard shortcut, I've managed to apply bold. Alt H1 again is going to remove bold. So you have all of these different keyboard shortcuts. We can jump across to other ribbons. So if I go to the insert ribbon, I can press N just here. If I want to insert a picture, I can go to P, so on and so forth. Escape to come out of that mode. So don't forget about those as well. Again, you'll find that you'll have a few combinations that you commit to memory and you'll use those most often. Now, what if we just want to see a big long list of all of the keyboard shortcuts in Excel? Well, we have two options. The first thing we can do is jump into the help files by pressing the F1 key on our keyboard. Notice it opens help in a pane on the right hand side and we can simply search for keyboard shortcuts in Excel and hit enter. It's brought up a list of search results. I'm going to select the top item just here. We get some information about keyboard shortcuts. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have our shortcuts divided into different categories. So if we go to frequently used shortcuts, it's going to jump us down to that section of the document. And you can see here we have a list of all of the keyboard shortcuts to close a workbook, control W, open a workbook, control O, so on and so forth. So this is quite a nice way of being able to find your keyboard shortcuts. But the other way that we could use the much more modern way, I might say, is to utilize ChatGPT. And I'm sure by now there's been so much buzz about ChatGPT that most of you are familiar with exactly what it is. And ChatGPT can be brilliant for things like this. So I've simply fired up a browser. I've searched for ChatGPT and it is worth noting that you will need to create an account in order to use ChatGPT. But you can use GPT 3.5 for free, which is the version that I'm using. So all we need to do down here is where it says send a message, we can type, please show me a list of all keyboard shortcuts in Excel. Hit enter to send that through. And it's going to go away, it's going to give us some information, but then it will start to produce all of those keyboard shortcuts. Now there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts in here, so we're not going to sit here and wait for this to finish. I'm just going to choose stop generating, because what we could then do is scroll up to the top and notice we have a copy button just here. So I could choose to copy this information and maybe paste it into something like a Word document. So I'm just going to open Word Online from the Microsoft 365 portal. Let's create a new blank document and then I can simply press Control V to paste all of those shortcuts in. Now you're probably going to have to do a little bit of formatting here, but once you've got these in here, you can then save this file, you can print it off and you can have it on your desk. So those are some useful keyboard shortcuts and some different methods for accessing the full list of keyboard shortcuts in Excel. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.